people, welcome back to the fourth dimension. How you guys doing today, man? It's, it's a little cold out here, but the sun is also beaming. So it's a very, very nice day today. Very, very nice. So first things first, COVID or anything like that. If you're going through any sickness, hey man, the majority of us are struggling in some form or fashion. If you need somebody to talk to, hit me up. Let me listen to you real quick. Let me help you out. I hope you're doing well. Hope all of y'all doing well today. Today we're going to be working on installing a three-way light switch. Now, you can get this off Amazon for a very good price. And as you can see, here's your model number. It's W6, 12 month warranty. This works, this is a Wi-Fi switch. You're gonna work with Electra, damn. <laughs> Alexa and your Google Assistant. So it is pretty quick and easy. You're gonna install the switch, download the app, and then it's pretty much done. Here's your model number again, is W6. Your voltage, hertz, this is only for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The company, so forth and so on. What's in the box, you get this. <laughs> and then this plate is actually not attached to the switch. I just put it on there real quick but you don't use screws for the plate. It just clamps onto the actual switch. And then again, model number, voltage, and all the other stuff. And your mounting screws are gonna be at the top. The wires are already in there. Everything's covered in plastic. You got your guide for the voice assistant. You got the actual guide for installing the light switch. And then you got your mounting screws and your caps. Opening up the guide for the switch. Not much, just explaining to you what the color means on the wires, which wire does what. And then we have the actual steps. Obviously flip your breaker, test it out to make sure it's actually off. And if you, if you once you're working on anything electric, obviously your computer, car battery stuff, whatever, make sure the electricity is discharged and if you need to be grounded, be grounded. So five steps in total, fifth step being to download the app. And this is obviously a diagram for which cables, which wires go into which socket. So first things first, and I, I mean, I'll show you this real quick, but this is just downloading the apps and linking it to the, the voice assistant. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. What they listen to? Amazon. Anyway, first things first, pick your light switch, right? Mine is gonna be in a garage. I didn't expect there to be anybody here today. So I planned on doing this while everyone was out so we could test it out in one of the outlets or one of the switches in the house. But we're gonna do it in a garage so we won't disturb anybody. First things first, head to your breaker box. Figure out which switch you want to replace, which switch has the problem. Hopefully, if you had your home built or if you're renting a house, whatever, hopefully they have everything labeled for you. You also have a little diagram on the side most of the time. So we got the main, we got the AC, garbage disposal, dishwasher, washer and dryer, the freezer, so forth and so on. Since we're doing a garage, I already flipped the switch, this one and also this one. But this one is also connected to the kitchen and the patio and so forth and so on. So, obviously don't forget to make sure you're doing the right one. And then going back and double checking, make sure it's off, making sure that it's off, flipping the switch on and off a few times to discharge the power. Then let's get started. So after you do that, you wanna get your flat head it over to your light switch, start unscrewing it. Put that right next to it. Right next to it. Like I said, 
but the switch is already discharged. Another set of screws. So just to be safe, I discharged the whole garage. So that means the garage door, the sensors and all that. I flip both switches just to be safe. So once you get this off, this one's going out all the way. There we go. Okay. So the booklet is going to tell you, excuse the mess in the garage by the way, I'm about to have a garage sale. But the booklet is going to tell you step by step on what to do. So next step, after shutting off the breaker, you're going to unscrew the plate and unscrew the actual switch. Do not remove any wires. Pull the switch away from the wall, disconnect all the wires from the switch and take it out and then install the new wire. It's going to snap together. So let's do that real quick. All right, people, let's get back into this. Well, before that, reminder, this is a garage, so it's not specifically set up as a three-way switch, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did and how it looks at the moment. I'm gonna go back and double check my work. I need to make sure everything is capped off in the right spot and tight. Obviously, this needs to be screwed down. Since it is not set up as a three-way switch, the two travelers are left blank and I'm gonna double check to make sure the imprints line up. For some reason, looking at it, it looks a little bit smaller, but that might not be the case. I was a little confused on how to set things up, but I did go back about five times and read the instructions. And I also had trouble taking off the old switch. But now that I think about it, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I could have loosened the caps and then loosened the wire and took the, the switch out that way. Why didn't I do that? Tripping. Anyway, what I did was I left the switch on the wall and put the flat heads in there and tried to pull the wires out that way and it took longer to do. But now, as you can see at the moment, it's actually raining. I don't know if you can see, but it, it is actually raining. It's been raining all week. And it might be raining all weekend. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to mess with this stuff while it is doing this. Probably see it better on that car, actually. No, this camera isn't working. Good. But it's raining, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this app real quick. This is such a bad time for it to rain. So we're gonna go to the part with the app. I'm gonna use my second phone. I already have the app installed. You can search it up. It's called Go Sound. You can search it up on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, or Open your camera, it's gonna pop up right there on your Android. It should be the same on your iPhone. You're gonna connect the app, make your account. As you can see, open the app, create your account, turn on the switch, and place it close to the router. If you have a Wi Fi extender that might be, you know, beneficial, press and hold the power button for five seconds, release it, and there you have it. Now I'm gonna post a link in the description and post pictures and everything to show you guys. That this isn't just another knockoff, some Amazon product. Because I was reading the reviews and everything is literally above like 90%. Like the reviews, obviously there's some bad reviews, but it's not like bad product reviews. It's just some it, user error reviews, you know? So I'm going to be posting a link to this so you guys can look it up and try this out for yourself. And... We're going to have to find another spot to connect this because obviously, you know, Alexa, turn on the garage light and stuff like that is a little unnecessary. I would prefer to be in a kitchen or hallway or something or just checking on the app. It'd be good for checking on the app to make sure the garage light is off and also the kitchen and everywhere else. So we are going to continue this later on once the rain stops and... I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for tuning in.